Oh, greetings all, it's Max, and we're back. And we're doing a thing about um, whether your pets go to heaven or not. Um, I don't think so. Have a good discussion with uh, Davey Matheny about that. But here's why I do not believe this, and here's why he does. Um, in here, we have Psalm 74:19. O deliver not thy soul of thy turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. So the turtle dove here apparently has a soul. But you can't take one line of scripture and apply it to everything. You have to read entire Psalm 74. And see what it's talking about. Turtle dove is a metaphor. It's a metaphor for the Jewish people. Or Christians. You can apply it to today. It looks like it would apply today. And here's why I do not believe that animals have souls. Genesis 2.7 And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life all life on the planet is breathed into by God. All of it. But man became a living soul. Nobody else. Man. Genesis 7. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the spirals prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl, and of cattle, and of beast, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man. And all those nostrils was breath of life. Of all that was in dry land, died. What was the salvation message? Um, if I have a dog, what was, what was my dog's salvation message so that they could get saved? There wasn't one. Okay. Sorry for the thump thump. That's my cat who's just going off the walls. And in every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground both man and cattle and creeping things and the fowl of the heaven which were destroyed from the earth and noah only remained alive and they that were with him in the ark now the reason that i take the position that i do is that animals don't have souls is because the bible doesn't say it also if the animals had souls, they would need a redeemer. Also, if the animals had souls, and you're going to say that, um, oh, well, let's just say lambs had souls, and the Jews were sacrificing them and they were perfect, because they, they're animals, they can't sin against God, they don't have free will, they have spirit, they have personality, they can't sin against God. So sacrificing the lambs should have actually cleansed all of their sins. But they don't have a soul. Only man has a soul. All right? Only man does. Search soul in the entire Bible. It's always referring to people. It's not referring to animals. So I'm sorry if you think your cat's going to be up there in heaven. You know, it might be. It might be. I don't know how God works in that. Um, I really don't. But what the Bible says is that animals do not have souls. They cannot be saved. They don't have the understanding. They have a spirit and personality 
and life. And that's what God gave them. And if you're not using a King James Bible, this is very confusing. Like, very confusing. I looked it up, and I was researching it a little bit. And they talk about creation and this and that. Um, no. In the KJV, it's very straightforward. You do not have a soul unless you're a man. Mankind. Woman. Whatever. Does that mean you don't go to heaven? I don't know. The Bible doesn't tell me. Maybe my dog will be up there. I don't I don't know. I'm just telling you that animals do not have souls. And that is my strict position on that. And you know, with that, I'm out of here.